What's up guys, Vital Syntax here, and I've got some more Battlefield 4 related news. A gaming retail store, EB Games in Australia, has released the first details about the deluxe edition of Battlefield 4. Uh, they listed the price points, the available date in Australia, what the expansion or what the deluxe edition includes, as well as, most importantly in my eyes, some more details about the single player and the multiplayer in an advertisement they released and the listing on their website. So first of all, I wanted to go over what it includes, the available date and the price point for people that live in Australia. Keep in mind that uh, the available dates for most international places is going to be October 31st for Battlefield 4, but in the US it's going to be October 29th, 2013. And the price points will vary a little bit depending on where you live, but in Australia the Xbox and PlayStation uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, I should clarify that. Uh, the Deluxe Edition's $108. I don't know if the next-gen consoles is going to be the same price point, but I would probably guess it's either that or slightly more expensive. And the PC version is going to be $98 for that uh, Deluxe Edition. And in Australia, like most other international releases, it's going to be October 31st when it's available. And what does it include? Well, it includes the standard game, the China Rising Expansion Pack, which you can also get by just pre-ordering the normal game and getting the uh, limited edition version of it. It also includes a steel bookcase, an in-game content, and a real dog tag. Now you can get that real dog tag by pre-ordering in a lot of retail stories, retail stores like GameSpot um, or GameStop. Sorry, uh, I think Best Buy probably as well. Maybe even Amazon, but a lot of the retail stores you can get that dog tag at. And the China Rising Expansion Pack you can get by pre-ordering almost anywhere. Even on the PC if you pre-order on Origin you get that expansion pack for free. Now the in-game content, I don't really know what that's going to be. It could be like a camouflage or something like that. I wouldn't expect it to be anything big. And then the steel bookcase I think is probably the big selling point of this um, deluxe edition. Um, and if you're interested in having some type of collector's item about Battlefield 4, then maybe you want to pick it up. But I'm not really interested in that. What I was more interested in with this uh, advertisement and listing on their website was some of the details that uh, were listed for the single player and the multiplayer. And I'm going to read through some of those to get you guys a better idea of what to expect for Battlefield 4. So under the single player, they listed that uh, the kind of the premise and the backdrop of the single player campaign for Battlefield 4 is saying, that it's going to start with an evacuation of American VIPs from Shanghai and follows your squad's struggle to find its way home. Which uh, kind of lines up with what we saw in the Fishing at Baku trailer, that they, the, the 17 minute gameplay trailer they released, uh, which took place, I guess, presumably in Shanghai. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'm probably quite excited for the single player. Uh, it seems like they're doing a lot of work to really bring out some of the characters and emotions and stuff. Uh, whereas Battlefield 3 I didn't really enjoy too much, but Bad Company 2 I thought had a really, really uh, enjoyable single player campaign. Anyway, we got to the multiplayer, what everybody cares about. Uh, they also listed that, quote, Only in Battlefield can you demolish the building shielding your enemy. Only in Battlefield will you lead an assault from the back of a gunboat. Battlefield 3, or Battlefield, sorry, grants you the freedom to do more and be more while playing it to your strengths and carving your own path to victory. And they also mentioned the next one a little bit more about the destruction by saying, only in Battlefield 3 can you experience, quote, levolution, <laughs> changing the landscape in real time with interactive environments that react to your every move. Uh, you know, hinting at revolutionary uh, destruction, maybe bringing back maybe the level of destruction we had in in Battlefield Bad Company, being able to co collapse almost all of the buildings on the map, maybe having more micro destruction, but ultimately just adding more destructibility to uh, the levels that you play in Battlefield, which is definitely going to be awesome to see. Uh, next one is quote only in Battlefield will you find the awe-inspiring power of next generation Frostbite 3 engine whose unrivaled audio and visual fidelity makes your games more dramatic, more believable, and more human. And that's definitely something I, I, I wanted to go back on with the single players. Uh, they're, they're doing really, really awesome stuff with the, the character animations and stuff for the single player. And I think that those characters are really going to stand out. But, And then the last one is, only in Battlefield do you have the power to dominate land, air, and sea with all new intense water-based vehicle combat. Which I believe is the first time that they've officially uh, announced that there will be an an all new improved vehicle based you know 
component in Battlefield 3's mul or Battlefield 4's multiplayer. I mean, we had that teaser trailer, um, and we had where you could see the the submarine or the propeller or whatever type of ship it was. And then we also got that aircraft clip in one of the, the trailers towards the end. And there was a lot of kind of hints at actually having water-based combat, but I think this is the first time they've said um, it for multiplayer that there's going to be sea and all-new intense water-based vehicle combat. You know, not just driving around a little pontoon boat like we had in Battlefield 3. Um, hopefully this means, you know, or an expanded maybe uh, aircraft carriers or things. There's a bunch of speculations we can make about uh, the sea combat they're going to add, but that's going to be definitely really, really interesting for to see for Battlefield 4. Anyway, that wraps up the latest news for Battlefield 4 and the Deluxe Edition, which will be available uh, later this year. But thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give me a like or a favorite. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.